Hey, what's up, guys? I'm going to do an unboxing of uh, Power Team Lures stuff, an order I just got in. Some colors I have, just started messing with, really uh, did really good with them, and, uh, and I really wanted to get some in the Power Team Lures line. So I uh, got that unboxing and went out to uh, stop by like Dick's and Gander Mountain and Walmart and picked up a few things. I'll show you that. I, w I wasn't even going to do any of these vids, but I figured... Yeah, what the heck, uh, everybody likes to see a little bit of bait once in a while, so, um, I'm gonna go ahead and start with the stuff I got at Walmart, and, uh, go from there. I got two 3700 Plano waterproof boxes. Um, a really uh, tackle junkie got 81 got me hooked on these boxes for my power team lure stuff and uh, to be honest with you I'm gonna convert a lot of my lures over to these really nice boxes they hold up a lot better than the regular uh, Plano 3700s then I got a 3600 in the waterproof box what I'm gonna do with this is uh start uh, carrying um, some of my football heads um, not really my jigs just football heads and extra uh, jig heads because I do like to run uh, regular uh, creatures and stuff on football heads like the Yamamoto creatures one of my favorites um, and stuff like that on, on a regular uh, football head Now I'm one of those guys that I love organizing my tackle as much as I do buying it. I love these 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 bins. Um, these are my storage for like uh like at the in my closet and stuff like that where I keep like you know nothing but straight king or worms or stuff like this. These are my uh, containers for uh, my extra baits. So I got two of these at Walmart. And at Dick's, I bought, Dick's had a really good sale. This is 8 pound Suffolk Siege and Smoke Green. Um, I got this for backing. This thing was only 5 bucks. And it was, it's 330 yards. So I got this for backing for, uh, you know, my spinning reels and uh, like my uh, crankbaits and stuff like that. It's a little bit uh, too light for... Uh, some of my like 14 or uh, 17 pound, I'll, I'll get um. They didn't have any uh, 12 pound like what I usually use for backing, so I'll I'll pick some of that up later on. They had a good deal. This is the braid that I like to use. This is 20 pound. This is what I use on my spinning rods. Um, I got this spool. It's 150 yards. I got this spool for like 10 bucks. They had it on sale. I would have picked up more of these, but they only had one in 20 pound. Mm, then Gander Mountain had a really good deal on some Havoc baits and stuff like that. Um, I bought some of these to try. Ribbit Frogs. Uh, this is in Bull Ribbit. That's Watermelon Red. This is another Bull Ribbit. Um, this is a Green Pumpkin. Red Pearl. And I've been seeing a lot of people really like the Stanley uh, Ribbit uh, frogs, or the hooks, the, the Swim Max hooks. So I got some of these to try. Not sure if this is actually the, the frog hook that I've seen or not, but they, I mean, they had these for like buy one, get one free type deal. It's getting close to hunting season and stuff like that. They don't care about, um, you know, fishing, so they're trying to get rid of some of their stuff. I picked up a pack of uh, Strike King Rage Cross and PB and J. And I picked up another pack of uh, Rage Cross and Blue Craw. And I picked up two baby Rage Cross and Green Pumpkin. I like these as jig trailers. 
if I want a more of aggressive trailer. Um, I already opened these. I got these. I think I got these actually at Walmart. Um, they're in the discount thing. I think I got um, these are Booyah Buzz Baits, quarter ounce. I think I got them for like two dollars a piece. I already opened them. Then I got some more Havoc Baits. This color, this is a uh, smoky green pumpkin. Um, I've never seen this color. I do really good on smoke baits, smoke colors up here. I don't know if you can really see that or not. But that color really looks really good to me. A lot of purple flake in it, and it's smoke. And that's in the craw fatty. And I got watermelon candy, grass pig. They had these buy one get you know one buy one get one bag half off type deal. <coughs> oh green pumpkin blue and a craw fatty. Getting to be one of my favorite colors, black, blue, silver fleck. And a bag of craw fatties and Watermelon candy. And just a black and blue flat uh, craw fatty. And uh, Okeechobee craw um, pit boss. And I got, these are new to me. Um, I wish they had more colors of these because I really would have bought some more. Um, these are green pumpkin subwoofers. I want to try these on swim jigs. That's a bag of green pumpkin. And the color I really, really like is watermelon pearl. That matches a bluegill pretty good. Wish they had more of these. I will pick up more. But there's that. And I picked up another bin that I'm... Actually, to be honest with you, I'm pretty, pretty excited about. It's a cheap bin, it was only 10 bucks. Got Walmart. I think it's a uh, 30 quart. What I really like about it is this lid is waterproof. It's got a waterproof seal on it. And you put it on here, it's got four locks. But then you can also just unlock this one side and pick that up and it'll stay just like that. This is gonna be my like my uh I put a lot of my uh baits in uh sportsman ziploc bags so that's gonna be kind of my uh um grab grab uh, bag box and for the boat. Um let's get to the power team lure unboxing. I already opened it. Here's just a regular regular uh bag of uh Food chain tube, three and a half. And watermelon red. This is the color I've been really doing good on. I didn't have any. Um, actually, I never. This the the past two weeks this is the first time I ever threw watermelon red, and uh, I I've, I've been really doing good on it, and uh, so it's uh, I wanted to get some more of it. As you see, it's got red flake and black flake, watermelon. Then I got the two tone, four and a half inch, watermelon red. It's got like a green pumpkin red on top, and it's watermelon on, on the bottom. As you all know, the Power Team Lures has a half inch solid head. Um, I really love flipping big tubes. A lot of people don't do that anymore. It's, I mean, this is one of my favorite flipping baits, is a tube. Especially the Power Team Lure one. Oh, as you're going to know, all these, these, pretty much all these baits are the same color. Here's a Craw D.
this is water, um, green pumpkin. Yeah, green pumpkin with red flake. Looks more kind of watermelon eat to me. I'm gonna use that on uh, my watermelon red jig, um, finesse jig. Probably shaky head a little bit. That's a pro pack. I buy all my power team lure stuff in pro packs. So much cheaper. And here's a craw D and this is watermelon seed. I love that color, that watermelon seed. It's not too light, it's not too dark, it's perfect. Like I said, this year is the first year I ever messed around with watermelon red and I did really good on it, so. I got some grubs. For these uh, these are only three colors I was lacking out of Power Team's uh, grub line I wanted to get. This is Smoke Purple Flake. Like I said, I do really good on Smoke up here. My water is really, really clear, so. Here's a uh, watermelon seed. Think I might dye that a little bit. Chartreuse. Put it back in swim jig. Match a bluegill. And I got watermelon red. I'm not even. Watermelon red um, with Power Team Lures has got a little bit of black fleck in it. And it's got a lot of red foot flake. Then this is a 20, this is two pro packs. And uh, Texas Rig Jig 3.5. As you can see, that's got a lot of red flake. I don't usually, uh, this is my favorite jig trailer for a football head. Um, it's in between, you know, it's in between the craw D and the um, conviction craw. If I want a bigger, bigger profile trailer, I'll go to a conviction craw. But, but most of the time, if I'm throwing a jig, if it's not a finesse jig, I'm throwing this on the back. Um, this is what I like to do with it. Take a pair of scissors. Not cut about that much off. I'll cut that part right off. Here's one of my football heads. This is uh, watermelon red. This is what I've been really doing good on. I'll just thread it up. Walk it right through the eyes. Come up. <clears throat> That's perfect. Like I said, that's my favorite jig trailer for a football head. It's a Texas rig jig. Yes, it's a, it's, a sh it's a shame that I'm cutting that off, but that's my favorite one. If I want a bigger trailer, I'll go to a conviction craw. But most, of, you know, if I'm throwing a finesse jig, I'm using a craw D. But, you know, for, uh, you know, I will use... Rage Cross and stuff like that if I want a more aggressive trailer. But my football heads, I don't like an aggressive trailer. So th this is my go to this is my go to setup right here. It's a three and a half inch Texas rig jig on a football head. You know, I cut that little tiny bit off. About I would say I don't know, a half an inch. Well uh that's pretty much it for Plastics. Uh, I got a beanie. It's getting cold here. Need to dress warm. Got a sweatshirt. And of course, I got a white T-shirt. And uh, the only the only shirt that I don't have is the black one. So.
Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, thanks for watching. Like I said, that's my favorite rig on a football head. It's a 3.5 Texas rig jig. And I just cut that little bit off. But, all right, uh, thanks for watching. Um, I think my next vid will be another unboxing. I got one coming. Um, I took a big uh, took a sale that um, coming up from Gambler, so I'll have a Gambler um, unboxing for you. But uh, thanks for watching. Talk to you guys soon.